Can you yes. tell us what is this, you know, basically the scale of cybercrime in Asia and what are some of the more common problems um, regarding cybercrime in Asia? Just to trouble you to look mm -hmm. over there. Uh, in terms of the uh, cybercrime in Asia, uh, the point is the criminals' organizations are targeting the, the money. So they would like to make a much profit. Easy way in the less, I would say, low profile. So problem is where the money is located, where criminals are coming. Any type of crime can be done by cyber criminals. They use the internet to make money, simply put. So I think the tools they use is computer viruses, very traditional tools, nothing special. I think that the basic protection doesn't exist in most of Asian countries. That is why they are victimized, especially online banking or e-commerce, that's huge problems but because people and the society are heavily dependent on the internet-based transaction. Once again, online banking, also e-commerce. Mm. Um, what about, say, the scale in Asia? Is it mm. increasing? How much has it gone up by Okay, then? I didn't answer to the question the scale of the problems of cybercrime in Asia. Imagine the scale is proportional of the population. Depending on how you capture the Asia, China has 1.3 billion, India has 1.2 billion, Indonesia has 200 million populations. The more people use internet, the more victims would be actually um, existing. So I think that the usage of internet is actually proportional to the increase of the cyber, uh, cyber victimization. So I think that's the, the scale of the cybercrime in Asia simply growing. Simply growing because of the increasing number of the population of the internet usage. Yeah. What do you think is Singapore's role in Asia in combating cybercrime? I'm just wondering, mm. this question of course in terms of um, our advancements in, mm. in uh, techniques uh, to combat cybercrime, basically what is our role? Because of course mm. the global, the Digital Crime Centre is based in yeah, th that's true. I think the Digital Crime Center is a part of Interpol Global Complex Innovation in Singapore. I believe that, and then actually the, the creation of Interpol Global Complex Innovation in Singapore is kind of the uh, illustration of how Singapore has been leading the effort to fight against cyber crimes across the region. And then I hope and I trust the Singapore government especially SPF, Ministry of Home Affairs, will continue to support the global effort to fight against cybercrime. Touching on the Interpol Centre, mm. just wondering if you could give us some details on perhaps what are the immediate priorities as mm. well as um, how much the Interpol Centre is going to cost okay. as well? Uh, I'm not quite sure about how much it would be, but I think that's the way for it is following. We opened the centre actually not center, actually key was handed over to Interpol yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we will be able to operate in a full-fledged way. Mm -hmm. We have to wait a little bit uh, because IT equipment must be installed. Some sort of the preparation is now ongoing. So we need to wait a little bit, but I think 2015 would be the year for us to show the, our added value service to our <coughs> membership. What we are planning to do um, um, the, at IGCI, in fact, uh, we are going to create the new cyber intelligence fusion capability that will allow us to mine the data set we have. As I mentioned, police have suffered, still suffer from underreporting. So police does not have the global picture, big picture, big understanding of the cyber threat which we are facing. So we are going to uh, collect, correlate information, not only from the member country, but also uh, from our partners' private sectors. Private sectors, internet security companies, or internet companies, they have huge resources, huge information for us to fight against cybercrime. So we are going to fuse, uh, actually, uh, information to produce actionable intelligence for the, our member countries actions, which is investigation, or prevention, or detection of a cybercrime. 
would it is it correct for us to say that the focus of the centre, the mm. innovation, uh, global complex for innovation, is not just cyber crime, right? Or is it largely cyber crime? Largely cyber crime. Largely cyber crime. Um, but okay. because I think that's the we Interpol mm. uh, wanted to innovate a tradition mm. of uh, our services, meaning the, the provide services and the tools to our member countries. Right. How we assist member country now threats are coming from cyberspace. Mm. So how to address that threat was the top priority, still is a top priority for us. Mm -hmm. Meaning the cyber crime challenges the way we operate, we right. actually investigate or detect crime. So most needed services for Interpol is to provide the tools and the services regarding how to address okay. the cyber yes, crime. Cyber crime. So cyber crime is actually main focus of the IGCI, mm -hmm. but in, in terms of uh, police responsibility, this is very important. The, actually the primary responsibility of the police law enforcement is to ensure their citizens safety and security regardless of whether they are online on the street. So just addressing cyber threat doesn't provide complete set of solution. And then we at Interpol would like to support our member countries by providing capacity building and the training support, which are also linked up with traditional way of yeah, yeah, policing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's a combination. But once again, focusing on the intersection of crime and the technology, which is uh, more, more or less cybercrime focused. Are the Singapore officers uh, working with you in the Digital Crime Centre, are they mostly uh, Interpol, meaning from other countries? Uh, basically, IGCI, specifically Digital Crime Centre, is composed of the secondment. For instance, I'm seconded from National Police Agency of Japan. The director of the Interpol Digital Crime Centre is led by the secondment from FBI. Ah, okay. Then, uh, Digital Crime Center is composed of the two units. One is Digital Crime Investigative Support, mm -hmm. the other one is Digital Forensic Laboratory. Mm -hmm. the, actually, the Assistant Director for the Digital Crime Investigative Support is seconded from Singapore, actually from SPF. Oh, okay. So, Singapore has one Assistant Director position in charge of providing investigative support of cybercrime to our member country.